Middle school students from every state entered the Discovery 3M Young Scientist competition, sending in videotaped ideas, like this one from Nico Siemens of New Mexico. He showed how a common garden hose with tiny holes could keep adobe houses cool through evaporation. Nico was one of ten semi-finalists flown to New York for the half-day competition. In the first event, they presented their inventions, like this mosquito trapper created by Nicolas Lajoie of Maine. And the heat being generated by this light bulb rises inside the motel. In the second round, finalists were asked to purify water and to separate man-made diamonds from a solid mixture. Yeah. Next, they were challenged to remove graffiti from replicas of New York City buildings without harming the surface. Nico Siemens, together with Nikita Gorov and Marina Dimitrov, were chosen to compete in the final event. Each had 50 minutes to design and build a tall structure that could withstand earthquake-level tremors while holding an egg intact. So what I have here is a pyramid-shaped building, and it's kind of it has like a little pocket at the top so I can place the egg in it. Scientists from the 3M Corporation acted as building assistants, but the students did the planning and design. So just, just tape it like, on the diagonal like like that. When the 50 minutes are up, the structures are tested one by one on the earthquake simulator. All three eggs fall or crack, but each structure remains standing. Thanks in large part to duct tape, the young scientists agree. Duct tape is really awesome. And duct tape fixes everything. The judges say the final decision, based on all four events, is close. Nico and Nikita tie for second, and Marina Dimitrov wins the top prize. She says she'll save it for her college education and hopes other children will be inspired to study science, too. I just think it's really important to get kids excited about science at an early age because they might be the next Albert Einstein or Isaac Newton or next America's top young scientist. It's just, I want to show that ordinary kids can do extraordinary things. Officials said the 500 students who entered the competition were judged as much on their communication skills as for the scientific talent they showed. Have you, like, practiced this? Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.